Hello everyone. I am back again with the next lecture on determinants. Today we are going to study about what is a third order determinant and how to solve a third order determinant. So let's get started. The third order determinants comes into play when we want to solve a system of three simultaneous linear equations which uh, which has three variables. Then at that time we shall have to deal with the third order determinants an example of a third three third order determinants is this one this is how you write a third order determinant this is known as what third order determinant here in the third order determinant is basically what a three by three matrix good next thing in this three or third order determinant here a i b i and c i are what are basically our real numbers where i is one two and three right so all the numbers that are present in this three by three matrix or is in this three third order determinant are considered as what are basically real numbers next thing this real number are known as the entries or elements of the determinant good so i can say a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 or as a3 b3 c3 they all are the elements of third order determinants next in this determinant in the third order determinant let us consider a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 in this third order determinants this a1 b1 c1 is considered as the first row of the determinant this a2 b2 c2 is what yeah it's the second row of the determinant a3 b3 c3 is the third row of the determinant whereas a1 a2 a3 is first column b1 b2 b3 is the second column and c1 c2 c3 is the third column of the determinant so this is how we define a third order determinant with the elements of determinants are a1 b1 c1 right what are the first row second row and third row of the determinant what is the first column second column and the third column of the determinant next next thing that we are going to discuss is how to find the value of a third order determinant let us consider a third order determinant like a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 and c3 now in order to find the value of a third or third order determinant we have to follow this particular steps first thing take the first element of the determinant which is a1 write the second order determinant right after a1 now this second order determinant okay basically consist of all the elements that are not present in the first row and in the first column okay so for a1 that is the first element of the first row and the first element of the first column we will consider the second order determinant and multiply it with the first element like this Thus, the element that we consider and that we multiply with the first element of the determinant is what? Excluding the first row and uh, excluding the first column, we get B2, C2, B3, C3. Good. Second thing that you do in order to find the value of the third order determinant is subtract the second element of the first row, which is B1. 
and multiply that second element of the first row with this another second order determinant. And what is the second order determinant for the second element of the first row? Yeah, we exclude the second column. Okay, so we exclude this thing. And we exclude the first row in which that element is present. So what are the elements that are remaining now? A2, A3, C2, C3. Good. Now, another thing after this that you add in this equation is the third element of the first row, which is C1. Now, again, multiply this C1 with another second order determinant. Now, in order to find the elements of this second order determinant, what we do? Yeah. Uh, let us write it again. Now, this C1 is basically in the first row and it is also, it does, it also belongs to the first column, third column, right? So we exclude the first row and the third column to get the elements of the, yeah, of third element of the first row and the third column, which is A2, A3. and b2 b3 right so this is basically the equation that you use in order to find out what is the value of a third order determinant how we did it we first again we first considered the first element of the first row right and we excluded the first column and first row and we considered the remaining element into the second order determinant and we multiplied it with the first element. We subtracted that with the second element of the first row that is B1 right and we again excluded the second row second column and the first row in which that second element is there okay and whatever the, what are the elements that are remaining A2, C2, A3 and CT. So we write it in the second order determinant. Again, for the third element of the first row, what we did? We excluded the first row and we excluded the third row. And whatever elements that are remaining, we wrote that element in the form of second order determinant. And we multiplied that with the third element of the first row. Good. Now, Next step after this is in the previous lecture, we solved how to do a second order determinant, how to get the value of the second order determinant. That is, we multiply this two, subtract it with this two, right? So we get A1 times what? B2 times C3 minus C2 times B3 minus of B1, which is this one, times A2 times C3, which is this thing minus c2 times a3 plus c1 which is this one times a2 times b3 which is this minus b2 times a3 so in order to further solve this one what you get you get a1 b2 c3 minus a1 c2 b3 we are just expanding this thing Okay, minus B1 A2 C3 plus B1 C2 A3 plus of C1 A2 B3 which is this one and minus C1 B2 A3. This is the answer for matrix A1 B1 C1 A2 B2 C2 A3 B3 C3. So for the third order determinant, in order to solve a third order determinant, you have to use this formula. And how we did it, now you know. So this is basically the value for the third order 
determinant. Let us take an example. So let us solve the, an example based on the third order determinant. Okay. Let us solve this one. Two, three, two, one, two, three, minus two, one, minus three. So if someone asks you to find the value for this third order determinant, how would you do it? We will uh, use the earlier method. That is, we will first consider the first element of the first row, that is 2. We will multiply it with the second order determinant by excluding the first row and first column. So what we will get? Yeah, 2, 3, 1 minus 3 that is this one this one this one and this one we will subtract the second element of the first row and we will exclude the second column and the first row in which that element is there okay so what are the elements that are remaining we will write in this second order which is 1 3 2 minus 3 and then we add the third element of the first row which is 2 and we will exclude the third column and the first row and we will write the remaining element which are 1 2 2 1 okay now furthermore we will multiply this 2 and solve this second order determinant as 2 times minus 3 that is this one minus of 3 times 1 which is this one minus 3 times 1 times minus 3 minus of 3 times 2 we'll add the third element and it will be 1 times 1 minus of 2 times 2 good next we'll solve this one we'll get what 2 times 3 is 6 and with a negative sign minus 3 minus 3 times minus 3 minus 6 plus 1 1 minus 4 right so we get 2 times minus 6 minus 3 is minus 9 minus 3 times what minus 9 plus 1 times what minus 3 so 2 times 9 is 18 9 times 3 is 27 but they have the both negative sign will cancel each other to become a positive sign right and this 1 times 3 is negative of 3 so you get your answer as 27 minus 18 minus 3 which will be equal to what which will be equal to 6 so this is the answer for the determinant which determinant yeah for determinant 1 determinant 2 3 2 1 2 3 minus 2 1 minus 3 we can write the value for this determinant as 6 so this is how you solve a third order determinant so this is it for today's class in the next lecture we are going to study about how to do certain operations on rows and the columns of the determinant i hope you understood how to solve a third order determinant now Thank you again. If you if you liked our lecture, please then please do not forget to share our lecture with your colleagues and friends. If you have any doubts or any questions related to this, you can uh, write that you can ask us in the comment section below or you can email us your query on our email ID Oats Institute at gmail.com. If you do like our lecture, please hit the like and subscribe button below and see you next time in the next lecture. Thank you.